What's going on, guys? This is Riggs from Clashing FFS, bringing you what my opinion is War of the Week here in Week 5 in the NDO Pro. Wait until you guys, just wait until you guys hear the stats that came from this war. If Put it this way, if I showed every single heavy hitter three-star, this would literally be like a two-hour video. Uh, we have FBC India, who took on Dragon Rejects. Shout out to both of these clans, the final. 110 to 108. We have so much action to get into. We're gonna go ahead and start off. And don't worry, DR, I will be showing a couple of your guys' three stars. We're gonna go ahead and start off with one Town Hall 9, as you guys know. This is a no dip league. So we gotta show love to the Town Hall 9s. Every single Town Hall counts in a style uh, uh, NDL style war. Uh, nines have got to clear nines. Kratos getting that fresh six pack. So we'll watch this while I break down the stats for you guys. Like I said, I have a lot of attacks to get through. Do not want this to get too long. Okay, we're going to start off with the winners first. Uh, that being FPC India. I, I don't even really know how to say this. Um, the, <laughs> the breakdown was 6, 18, 16. Okay, six Town Hall 11s, 18 Town Hall 10s. 16 Town Hall 9s. So guess how many 11 the 11 3 stars FPC India had? That's right, they had 6, okay? AKA, they cleared all of DR's Town Hall 11s. Uh, I will be showing you guys one fresh hit and one hit that I picked that was my absolute favorite. We will check out two of their 11 the 11 3 stars. Uh, FPCI got 8 10 v 10 3 stars. And nines did clear nines, thank goodness, at 59%. Uh, or they hit at 59%. They had about five scouts. On the DR side, now, what made this war so close, and we know DR has been very hot 10v10, right? So they're, they did not get an 11v11 three star, okay? They did not have 11v11 triple. However, they did have 12, okay? 12 10 v 10 three stars this war i will be showing you guys a pair of those uh one being fresh and then uh, one being my favorite which was the hit on uh the highest town hall 10 on the map and lo and behold they actually uh had the same percentage as fpci as far as 9v9 goes uh dr did clear nines with nines and they hit at 59 percent um, and at the end, I will go ahead, like I said, guys, there were so many Town Hall 10 three stars. As you guys know, there's no way we can show them all anymore. We can't even show all the 11 v 11 triples anymore. We just can't do it. Um, but what we're gonna do, I'll show you guys a couple of my favorite. I'm gonna show you guys a couple of the fresh hits. I'll let you know which ones were fresh, which ones were not. And at the very end, we will give shouts to everybody who did get uh, 10 v 10 three stars. Um, so yeah. So we'll go ahead, that was our, nine, our Town Hall 9, shout out to Kratos, getting that six pack. Uh, okay, what we're gonna do, we're gonna jump up, we're gonna jump up here to number 24, and to my surprise, you guys gotta let me know. If any of you guys are actually watching this, um, now, not this attack, but what, what really made me happy is there was a few attacks that I saw as I was kind of scrolling through Guys getting 10v10 uh, fresh three stars on the DR side using the Valk dive bar. I could not believe it. Uh, again, anybody watching this, let me know if you guys saw that in a few videos ago, if you guys watched that and if you've been actually using that attack. But again, I'll show you guys which attack that was. Uh, but we have Nick168. Nick168 Nick Nick from FPC India getting that fresh 10v10. This is number 24, meaning this is the lowest Town Hall 10 on the map, but still getting it fresh and doing it, bitch. I gotta show you guys what is working. These are the attacks that are working. Uh, variations of bitch, we got the Valk dive bar, a lot of hog attacks. Hey, and people sticking to their guns, wrecking bases with Sui Hero Lala. We got a couple Sui Hero Lala's to show you guys. And a lot of these attacks are even more powerful, not more powerful now than before because of how the ITs are. Uh, but we do see the base layouts. We do see, we are starting to see a change in the meta. DR, they obviously don't give a shit. They, they got 12 10 v 10. So they're definitely ahead of the meta on that. Got I guess they got to work on their 11 v 11s. It's kind of hard to do that, but um, 
I mean, getting 12 10 v 10s, DR are doing work, guys. But we'll show them love a little bit towards the end of the video. We got to show love to FPC India. Uh, oh, for the records, um, FPC India is, is sitting at two and three right now after week five. DR has the opposite record. They are at three and two. Uh, so definitely want to get that out to you guys. We'll show uh, the hit on number 23. This was also fresh. So I want to get this one out to you guys. Uh, and lo and behold, look what we're using, guys. Look what we're using over here. Um, Lee. Love, Lee, love from FBC India. Doing what? HGHB and a fresh hit. So dropping out a couple hogs. Check this out. Dropping a couple hogs on this mortar, right? To, to Just to set a nice funnel. And you'll see right here is going to go ahead and drop down. He or she is going to go ahead and drop down uh, 12 giants with four healers. Got a baby drag on the DSF right there. And we have one wizard uh, that's going to funnel the camp and the uh, builder hut right there. Once the giants break through the wall, you can already see that the funnel has pretty much been set. It was pretty simple. Just dropping down a couple hogs and a wizard to set the funnel on the right side. Did it nice and cheap. Here we have heroes coming in. We got bowlers coming in. Nowhere for them to go but inside of the base. And we do have a golem coming out. It wasn't a loon, a golem something. I imagine it was a wizard or something like that. But we do have a, a enemy golem coming out of the CC. And look at these bowlers and giants wrecking inside of the core here. Uh, and you'll see right as uh, they're tanking most of the point defenses inside of the core, uh, uh, Lee's going to go ahead and drop down just a couple hogs on the Sarcher Tower. It just had a couple hit points left on it. But the main group over here uh, is going to have that heal spell uh, covering a couple point defenses. Uh, we got a uh, that Tesla uh, also inside that heal spell. And you'll see it. We still have one more hog still live on this side uh, targeting that mortar. Queen was getting targeted by the single shot IT pops ability to take it out. And we still have one more heal spell being nice and patient. Only brought three rage, only two heals uh, on this HGHB. But you can see this is clearly going to be a three star and getting that wizard, uh, getting that trash fun or getting that trash taken care of on the top side of the base. Beautiful attack and a fresh three star. It just makes it that much more special. Uh, so now we'll go ahead and uh, move up the map just a little bit. We're going to check out. Uh, another 10v10 before we get into the 11v11 action. So we're going to go here to number 17. We got dark troops. And again, can't show you guys all the 10v10s, but I will be uh, running through it. I'll show you guys who the 9v9 six packers were and who got all the 10v10 three stars. So you guys will be getting your shout outs. Do not worry. But we have dark troops. I like this one because we're just not seeing it that much anymore. At least... Not in the clans that, you know, that I see, that we're facing, that I'm around. I mean, it, we know it's still there. Uh, but, I mean, a lot of people are favoring hogs and different variations of bitch. But here we got a straight up Sui Hero Lalo getting an incredible value. Uh, taking out, uh, going to be getting a couple wizard towers as well. Uh, and you'll see Queen is going to go ahead and lock on and take out that archer tower. She rounds the bend. There she goes. Going to get that wizard tower. Pops ability just in time. Can't you get the AD? Yes, she can. And we do have a hound whiz. What was really nice is that the queen uh, shot that wizard right in the face. Uh, that way his Lalo doesn't have to deal uh, with the wizard shooting up at all of his balloons. All right, but Dark Troops will be starting his Lalo up here at 12 o'clock where he does have two heal, a rage, four haste, and he's got... Uh, uh, one of his own skelly spells and a skelly spell donated in the clan castle. Doctor, he needs to get some farm done. He's only got a level one skelly spell. You got to get that up to level three. You're going to see why that does not matter because he is going to completely wreck this base. But Dark Troops does have some dark farming to do. Uh, we have a CC Hound coming in at three o'clock. A, a whole wad of loons right behind it. Look at that core. We have a beautiful rage right there in the core, probably raged 18 balloons inside that core, followed up by a heal spell to cover that wizard tower and a couple more uh, point defenses. Another heal spell to cover uh, this Tesla. Kind of seemed like this heal spell might have even been swagged. He probably could have swagged this one. Uh, we just had an archer tower. We have a te uh, Tesla uh, Expo, another archer tower. Completely wrecked this base, you guys. We got pups cleaning up. Uh, minions helping over here on the upper right-hand side. The base was completely smashed. Level one skelly spell, level three skelly spell, didn't even matter. 
pretty much swag that heel at the end as well. Huge shout, uh, huge shout to Dark Troops getting that three star. Okay, now what we're gonna do is get into some 11 v 11 action as it is semi becoming more common ish. Not 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 super common. But look at the guy. Look at this map, you guys. Look, look at this map. This was a 10 v 10. That was a 10. Number seven was a 10 v 10. But look at this. All of these bases completely smashing these wall there was like one hybrid uh while i'm talking we're going we're just going to watch one of these this was the fresh hit though we're going to check out the hit um that psychic did very clever spelling we're going to watch the hit that psychic did on number five and for good reason this attack right here guys whether it's fresh whether it's clean up this attack uh this queen walk uh into a meeting up into a bitch attack is just completely wrecking anti three layouts, uh, and you guys are going to see why. Uh, but again, this was for, look when this 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 uh, replay is going to end in a minute and forty seconds. Uh, so just completely wipes through this base. wasn't even close on time. Um, and then I'm going to show you guys the hit on number one uh, using hogs. Wait till you guys see that. But we got to give Psychic some love. Here we go. We got Queen over here. Uh, she's going to be walking down. Uh, going from three down to six. Here comes the bitch. You see the witches down up at 12 o'clock and we got some bowlers that are going to be accompanying them. Look at this flank right here. All right, bowlers are going to be taking the jump with the king, with the warden. We got a uh, poison spell to go ahead and capture that loon. Make sure that loon goes down and doesn't kill all the bowlers. We have witches and skellies inside of this core as well making it that much more devastating uh, when you have all those skellies tanking for the bowlers. Uh, we have another jump spell inside of the core. Uh, they're going to be taking out this eagle artillery uh, right about now. King's going to lock on. I already used king ability, uh, but still that level, I mean, we got a level 47 king right here. So, so strong. And look, the flank is still up. Flank's still doing its thing. Look at queen. Queen doing her thing. She's she started off at three o'clock. She's rounding the bend, uh, approaching seven now. Uh, so she's walked already six hours across this base or around this base. And you'll see there's still a few more point defenses down. We do have a ground expo. Uh, the Hound not doing a whole lot, but look at this. Look at these skeletons doing work. Even the Grand Warden is actually doing something. Uh, he's gonna be taking out that expo. There he goes, shout out to Psychic's Grand Warden taking out uh, that fully max expo beautiful hit and like I said being fresh made it that much more special now we're gonna go ahead and check out the hit right here on number one from super freak dude six pack that is exactly what he is that is exactly what he is the question I have for you guys is uh, super freak going to swag while you're watching this comment down below is he going to swag an elixir spell let me know down below we'll go ahead and watch what he's gonna be doing here we're gonna have a queen walk meeting into a cb uh basically a cb uh a hobo what is going on here all right queen starting over here at nine o'clock she is going to be walking down uh, a couple shots goes ahead and takes out that mortar one shots the builder hut one shots another builder hut uh just taking out these defenses and also starting a funnel uh and you'll see he does have three heal spells a jump, a rage, two poison, and he does have a skeleton spell to help out um, a little later on. So here we have uh, Gollum on the mortar, baby dragon, look at this baby dragon, out of range of everything, nothing can reach this baby dragon. Uh, the archer tower could, but it's being tanked by the Gollum. But you see, so not only is he be picking up that star from that town hall, he's gonna get a lot of value from that baby dragon and also set the funnel. Here we go. Where are these troops going? They're heading right in to the core of this base. They're approaching the first uh, Infernal Tower, which is on single target. Uh, and you'll see th there's a damage CC, does have a poison waiting for it. Uh, real nasty too. Look at those witches, those enemy witches coming out of that CC. But with the bowler bounces, they're gonna go ahead and take it out, no problem. Uh, and you'll see he does still have uh, his king up, still has a bunch of bowlers. Uh, healers are pretty much healing everything they do that splash heal so everything's pretty much staying up to full health good rock skips taking out that eagle artillery and we got the hogs coming in over here at nine o'clock uh he did bring 20 of them uh and you'll see right here did drop his first heal spell down covering the bomb tower the two teslas the expo and he does still have 
two more heal spells and a poison spell as well uh, so kind of gets a weird split right here infernal tower is still up uh, you'll see right here he does get enough hogs to split to go and backtrack and take out that infernal tower but look he still has queen ability look at this look at what that kill squad did he still has bowlers up from the initial entry uh, just completely end up wrecking this base and yes that is right if you answered yes you were correct he got he swagged a heal spell well actually you were wrong he swagged two spells he got the heal spell and the poison spell super freak being a super freak uh, not only getting the 11 v 11 with hogs getting the 11 v 11 six pack and doing it with that much more style getting that swag so now what we're going to go ahead and do is we're going to go ahead and check out um uh, some of DR's hits. We're gonna check out two of Dragon Rejects hits for you guys uh, As this is my version of War of the Week. I mean j just look at it you guys just look at it We already saw that I'm on the wrong side of the map Let's go and let's go to the right side of the map. There we go. Okay, now we're on home All right, we're gonna check out the hit on number 23 uh, Jug my man Jug getting a 10v10 six-pack and what made this this one was extra special for me Reason number one, it was fresh. You gotta love a, 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 a nice uh, 10v10 fresh three star. The other reason is he did the Valk, uh, the, the Valk bar dive. I gotta know if he saw the video or not. I mean, just straight up, we got witches and bowlers over here at three o'clock. They're gonna be walking up. We got queen down here at six o'clock. She's gonna be walking up, uh, taking care of all of these, all of these uh, defenses, clearing the trash, setting the funnel. That's right, we had CC Giants uh, heading straight into this base. Queen goes and takes out that Tesla. Uh, the Giants, just in time, re are going to be rerouting to that jump spell that is leading everything into the core. We got eight Valkyries going to be beelining it straight into the core of this base. Bowlers backing them up. We do have a poison spell uh, to go ahead and take out uh, the enemy Loon. And we do have a, another jump. We got a heal and a rage right there in the court. And still have both abilities from the heroes. And this push has already made it to the backside. Uh, still has a witch. And we have a nice giant tanking for her. Uh, just completely wrecking this base. This is a, stu a sub two minute raid right here. Uh, look at Queen still up. She's going to go ahead and take out that cannon. Just a few shots. Still have Valkyries making it to the end. At this point, it's just a matter of time. You already know on these bitch attacks, you already know it's just how long is it going to take for me to get my three star, especially when everything goes according to plan like that, uh, especially dropping on that jump spell right in time uh, for those giants to reroute in uh, once that Tesla got taken out. Beautiful attack by Jug and again, getting that one done fresh. So now what we're going to do, we have one more attack, guys, one more attack to show you. Thank you for bearing with me on this. We have one more attack. This attack right here on their number seven. We have Hydrogen going to be taking on Nick168. We showed Nick's three-star. Now we're going to show him getting three-starred. I'm very, very sorry, Nick. But this attack right here was the uh, a 10v10 on uh, the highest Town Hall 10 on the map on the FBC India side. Doing it with... Uh, I mean, look, a CB, uh, a CB hobo. We got to check this one out, you guys. We got Queen over here on the on the left hand side, coming in at about 8:30, and you'll see right there. Look at that mortar. That is begging for a golem to be dropped on it. There it goes. And we're gonna have a nice jump spell. Gonna lead all the troops in to this little uh, this little runway right here. He's gonna go ahead and take out enemy Queen, get enemy CC, and carve out a nice. Uh, we're going to go ahead and break the defensive ring, carving out a nice defensive path for the Hogs. I mean, he's got 30 of his own, and you'll see right here does have, uh, did bring, I think, five or six of his own bowlers, and they're just completely wrecking this core. Uh, the bowler bounces off the Wizard Tower, even got the Archer Tower taken out. So here comes the Hogs, you guys. Uh, I believe he also has Hogs that will be coming out of the CC. Uh, does have three heal spells. First one is down, covering a few point defenses and getting that heal spell over the bomb tower. Very, very good value from that heal. And you'll see he has more hogs coming in uh, up here at 12 o'clock. Went ahead and dropped down his CC hogs as well. And I mean, it's, I mean, it's pretty textbook. It's a pretty textbook uh, CB uh, uh, Goho, as you see, or CB Hobo, 
as you see, he has one more heal spell, and he's gonna be dropping it right on the last few defense. I mean, just textbook, just classic. Uh, all these hogs are gonna be healed up, even though he's ending on Inferno Tower. It is a single shot Inferno Tower. Probably wanted his kill squad to get it, uh, but just escape from him. But you'll see it's already been uh, damaged uh, from a few of those bowlers. It actually wasn't, it was full health. I was wrong again, but the hog still got it done no matter what, so it does not matter. Uh, we do have a king up. Uh, you guys might have missed it, but he did drop a skeleton spell to distract that king. Not only did he almost kill the king, uh, but it let, made it so the king didn't chase his freaking hogs around all over the map. Uh, but yeah, definitely watch that again in case you missed it. Very nice skelly spell uh, from Hydrogen slowing down uh, Nick's king there. That is going to wrap it up though, guys. I really hope you guys enjoyed this recap as much as I did. An incredible uh, war of the week. Uh, I mean, six 11 11s We had a combined 20. A combined 20 Town Hall 10 3 stars. Nines get nines done. Actually, we got to do our shout outs real quick. I completely forgot. So we have three Chinese letters. Uh, he did have an 11 11 3 star. We had Psychic. Uh, he had a, an 11 11. Super Freak getting that 11 11 six pack. And we had D Khalifa also getting that 11 11 six pack. Uh, Nick with the 10 v 10. Uh, awesome Anish. Uh, shout out to him getting 10 v 10. Uh, we saw uh, Lovely Loves um, three star. As we pan on down here, uh, Tumor getting a, a 10v10 three star. And we have Sudish DS getting a 10v10 six pack. Dark Troops also getting a 10v10. And for our Town Hall 9 six packers, we had Your Bro Six Pack Pro, uh, Lick Hit, uh, D Haria, Dar Darwill. Uh, getting it done. Kratos with that. We saw his attack getting that 99 fresh six pack. Troublemaker AK, shout out to him. Uh, Depression Dragon. Uh, B Shalek uh, getting a, uh, getting, well, actually, that was just one three star, but shout out to him anyway. Okay, so on the enemy side, uh, Dragon Reject side, we, they did not have an 11v11 three star. So we're just going to show you guys, but they did have 12 10 v 10s So go ahead and show them mad love. For those 10 v 10s we have Angelo uh, 2.0 getting a 10 v 10 three star. We have uh, Dork uh, Dork An Angie uh, with the trademark getting a 10 v 10 six pack. Crimson King, Hydrogen, uh, Ewe Wyatt with a 10 v 10 three star. Uh, we have Jug getting that. Oh, he didn't get a six pack. I'm sorry, but uh, we still got his uh, uh, his 10 v 10. We had, where was it? Uh, Akirin getting that three star. Roadrunner getting a 10v10 six pack. Oh, it is Jug. He has, it's Jug times two. I thought he had a fresh three star. There we go. Jug taking out number 23. We watched that attack getting that fresh three star. Uh, we have Killer B getting it done. And that is it. I say that is it. They got 12 of them. Uh, but that's it for the 10v10s. And for the 9v9 uh, six packers, we have JJ. Shout out to him. And we had, what else? We had 0.5 getting it done at Deep Peg 002 with a fresh 99 six pack. Ari getting a fresh uh, 99 six pack as well. Uh, but anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed the recap. That is gonna do it. That is gonna, hopefully you guys enjoyed this war recap as much as I did. The final 110 to 108. Uh, FPC India, Dragon Rejects, love both of you guys. Hopefully you guys enjoyed all the footage. Uh, if you did, make sure you hit that like button. Uh, comments, questions, or concerns down in the comment section below. And of course, subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. As always, this is Riggs from Clashing FFS, and I'll see you in the very next video.